When blush is applied correctly, it can instantly lift the face. It can give the appearance of a healthy glow and the illusion of a slimmer face. Hi, I'm Angie Gogna, professional makeup artist, and today I'm going to show you the basics of applying blush. The technique that I'm showing you today not only adds color to your face, but also helps to sculpt the cheeks. For this, you want to use a slightly fluffy brush with natural hair that's tapered along the sides so that it targets the correct area. You can choose to use any blush you want, whether it's matte, satin, or pearl finish. But one good tip for beginners is that whatever lip color you choose, you can never go wrong by using a blush in the same color tone or family. Like today, I'm using a light pink lip color. So I'm also gonna go with a light pink blush. Another good thing to note is that light pink, coral, or peach tones work well with light to medium skin tones, while roses, plums, or deeper shades work well with dusky skin tones. To apply, locate the point where your hair starts to curve behind your ear. This serves as your guide of the starting point. To know where you should end, follow the two-finger rule by putting two of your fingers beside your nose. Your blush shouldn't reach beyond this point. Using back and forth motions, apply the color on your cheek with a light and gentle hand. Once you're happy with the definition, you can use soft circular motions to blend the color up and outward. Make sure to start with a little bit of color and add on as you go along. Remember that this is easier than correcting your mistake. Remember to keep the intensity of the color on the sides of your face rather than the center. Let's try it on the other side. Make sure not to overdo it because you want it to look as natural and glowing as possible. So there you have it. If you have any more questions, don't forget to download the PopXO app and subscribe to PopXO TV.